why is it that Nancy Pelosi, who for the longest time was the wall, the person that was saying, no, 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 we don't need to impeach. We, we don't need to impeach. She knows that impeachment is going to be something that is high risk, high reward. I mean, yes, if they succeed, and it's a very slim chance that they succeed, especially considering what all we've just looked at, if they actually succeed in this impeachment, they know or that, that that is there's such a minuscule chance that that happens that it's not worth pursuing it, and Nancy Pelosi is smart enough to understand that. And if they don't succeed, then they look like the idiots, and that will severely hurt them in the upcoming election. So why is it that Nancy Pelosi all of a sudden caves? Here's what I think is going on. And keep in mind that I used to be in a fraternity. I was the standards chair, which meant it was my job to go around the house, and we had a dry house. It was a Christian fraternity. It was my job to go around the house and make sure that they didn't have anything they weren't supposed to in their rooms. That included things like tobacco, alcohol, uh, you know, any other kind of drugs. You can always tell when you're about to find something, a stash or something, when all of a sudden you see the person tense up, you see them starting to freak out when all of a sudden you get to a certain drawer or a certain closet or a certain container and you pop it open, you can see their reaction that you're about to hit pay dirt. And, you know, out of the hundreds of room inspections I did, I think I busted two guys because they had a bottle of Jack Daniels. So I'm not a person that just went around looking to bust people. But my point in all of that is, they start panicking. They start going, no, 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 not, not, not that one. Not that one. They don't care if you look through all the others. They really care when you look at that one that they know the stuff is in. And you can tell that that's the one you really need to check because that's how they reacted to it. This is especially true with really small children that don't have a lot of impulse control and can't act. And so, they, <laughs> you know, if you find something in their room they know they're not supposed to have, they'll really react to you going to that that one drawer that they know that the stuff is in. Well, I think this is what happened to Nancy Pelosi. Could be wrong. But I think the reason that all of a sudden Nancy Pelosi did a complete 180 overnight and decided, nope, this is worth going after Trump on, I think it's because Trump, whether he understood what he was doing or not, he found the drawer. And the drawer is the Ukraine. He's about to bust that puppy open, and the Democrats, who were all over the Ukraine in 2016, have all kinds of infrastructure set up, and $1.8 billion of taxpayer money just vanished. And by the way, Donald Trump and the server he mentioned in the, the call to the Ukrainian president, it's the same server that James Comey was looking for. It was the same server that our intelligence community abroad was looking for in Ukraine. It's the same DNC server. I think what happened is that something big went down in the Ukraine that we don't know about yet or, or maybe just have an inkling about, like all the stuff with Joe Biden and his son. And Donald Trump got really close to blowing the lid off of that, and the Democrats are freaking out because of it. Could be wrong, but it's a theory. And if that theory holds out, it explains why all of a sudden Nancy Pelosi, who had been dead set against impeachment, decided... Yeah, maybe it's time to, to start thinking about impeachment. It's just a thought, but I think that it's, it's the case. But either way, everything in that whistleblower complaint that we read the other day, every part of it has been thoroughly debunked, which is a perfect example of why you don't listen to secondhand information. <laughs> Normally, this is the part of the video where you would expect me to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, but the truth is, I don't really care whether you do or not. In fact, you know what? Don't subscribe. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world in the state of Alabama that you should probably be aware of. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.